Lamar Malaski, I'm Ezra, and today is Friday, March 18th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for 30 seconds of silence. Today's lunch choices are chicken tostada salad, turkey and cheese on a hoagie roll, or cheese pizza. Sides are cucumbers, cranberries, alphabet cookies, turkey coins, ranch, and milk. One of your responsibilities is to make sure you come to school every day with a fully charged Chromebook. If you get here to school and it is not fully charged, we have charging cases in the cafeteria, that you can use before school or during lunch. So if it gets to be lunchtime and you notice you don't have enough percentage to last you the afternoon classes, that is what you should be spending your lunchtime doing is charging your Chromebook because you were not responsible enough to do it the night before. There's no reason your Chromebooks should not last the entire school day if you're prepared and do the right thing by charging it each night. If you forget or you choose not to do that, then you need to use the charger in the cafeteria to make sure you're prepared for class. All students are invited to join us for summer school from May 31st to June 17th. We will offer a variety of classes from academic for those needing recovery credit to sports activities and fun activities like we did last summer. If you are interested, you must complete the Google sign up form by Friday, March 25th. Go to Mulaski.org and click on the Summer Interest Form button. SBAC testing is next week. To find out more information, go to Mulaski.org Academics tab and click on SBAC. Here you will find some Quizlet prep for vocabulary words you can work on and you'll also find the bell schedule. When clicking here, you will notice that next week, Tuesday and Thursday, we'll be taking the math portions of the SBAC test. Looking below, you can see the schedule is going to be a little bit different on both of these days. So make sure that you take some time to look over that. The other thing that you need to do right away is make sure that your Chromebook is ready and prepared for SBAC. So again, go to Mulaski.org, click on the Technology tab, click on Tech Help. Underneath the Chromebook section, you want to do steps one, two, and three to make sure that your Chromebook is ready to go. Updating your browser, clearing your cache and cookies, and refreshing your Chrome policies. This ensures that your Chromebook is set up and ready for SBAC testing. If you are having any issues with your Chromebook, including the sound not working, you need to come by 904 before school or submit a tech ticket. I would suggest doing these things today so that you are well prepared and ready for next week because every student's going to need to have their fully charged Chromebook for SBAC testing dates. Week two of SBAC students will also need to have earbuds for the listening parts of the ELA test. If you have your own, you should definitely bring those so you have them to use. They must be wired headphones though, you will not be able to use Bluetooth headphones for the SBAC test. And finally, Make sure that you do have that book so you have something to do when you're finished with your testing. You will not be able to use any other electronics, including your phone. You will not be able to sit and work on classwork or other things. So make sure that you have a book that you'll enjoy reading when the SBAC test is over. If you have any other questions, make sure that you ask your teachers. Good morning, Alaski. My name is Fernanda. And my name is Jax. And, and we're, we're from, from the Publications, publications crew. crew. On Monday, we would like you to wear your house colors. Anyone who's wearing their house colors will be getting a point for their respective houses. And we'll have the opportunity to be in the yearbook. So wear your house colors. Today is the last day to vote on the Sweet 16 Tournament of Books March Madness competition. There are a few books that are really close. 
So it's going to be today's votes that will probably determine those final winners. The Elite Eight will be announced on Monday. We do not have a late bus today, so please make sure you get to your bus immediately after the sixth period bell. Thank you for watching today's Alaska News. Have a wonderful day and bye!